Okay, we're all done. <laughs> all done. Excuse me. Is there one on my head? Yep. Oh, no, it's on my head. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures, and welcome back to day six of our cruise adventure. Today, we find ourselves in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is the first time that we've ever been here, and it's actually, we're on one of the first cruise ships to come back to Puerto Rico since the pandemic. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna explore Old Town San Juan. We're gonna try to eat some of the local delicacies and treats. And then later on today, we're gonna get back on the cruise ship and have a relaxing night. Come with us on this adventure. Cruise port, there's a senior frogs. <laughs> Pandemic, everything went out of senior business. Senior frogs, I think is what it is. Would you right? say senior frogs? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's where people go to to party. I'm just saying, like the pandemic, like everything went a bit went out of business, but not uh, senior frogs. Say it right this time. Yep. <laughs> Like at most ports, when you get off the ship, there's a bunch of stands trying to sell you touristy crap. Just go past that. Take a right, and that's where you're gonna find the famous Puerto Rico photo op song. In 2017, Hurricane Irma and Maria completely destroyed Puerto Rico, and it was devastating. But the people came together, united, to rebuild the island, and they made this statue, this monument, in dedication to just coming together and being strong. So now this is located right outside, right by the cruise port. And you could come get your picture next to it. And there's even like a hashtag that you could use when you post it on social media, just showing your support of Puerto Rico. We were like looking at stuff to see in Puerto Rico and we came across this sign. I didn't realize like it had so much meaning behind it. It's just very special. We're totally gonna get a photo here. This port has been shut down for obviously over a year. And we're one of the first cruises to actually make port in Puerto Rico. So we're actually not sure what's going to be open. It's going to be interesting. So we were walking down the street and we came across this place called Raices. And we weren't planning to come here, but we saw the sign outside advertising that they had the best Mufungo around. They, it was like a few years in a row voted on, I'm guessing by a newspaper or something. I, I don't know. But it convinced us to go inside because it looked interesting. I'm glad we did because this place looks like it's very themed. It looks like it's themed like Puerto Rico a couple hundred years ago. It actually reminds me of this restaurant in Los Angeles, El Compadre, which when you're inside, it kind of has like these these roofs and it looks like you're on, it actually feels like you're on the outside and it feels like you're in a different time and place. Like they have these paintings on the wall, but they're themed as windows into another time and place and it's really cool. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad that we kind of stumbled upon this place. I decided to order myself a mojito. I asked our server what the most popular drink was on the menu. I know that Puerto Rico is known for pina coladas, but I wanted to try something different, and he told me to get the mojito. I was looking up the ingredients, and it actually says it's a house special recipe, so they don't want to give away their secrets. But normally what's in a mojito is like mint leaves, sugar, I think rum, or some sort of alcohol. That's what this looks like. Looks nice and refreshing. It is hot outside. I love that there's air conditioning in here. And this drink was only like eight bucks, which I feel is pretty cheap, right? Yeah. Is it good? That's the question. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh yeah, it tastes like there's like some lime in there. Like lime wedges. Wow. I feel like I don't usually order mojitos, so I can't remember if they usually taste like lime or not. I just remember them being really minty. But this is good. This is nice and refreshing. It is not too strong. I'm gonna enjoy this for sure. I'm so happy. We're in Puerto Rico and I'm drinking a mojito. Who would have thought? <laughs> 
five out of five kit dress. Trust your server. Get them Hito. <laughs> and for my drink, I ordered a Coke Zero, which I would normally not talk about a Coke Zero because that's not unique. But I wanted to talk about how it was presented. They brought it over in an old can that has been re-wrapped with the name of the restaurant and some graphics from Puerto Rico. I just thought, how neat is that to kind of repurpose a can as a, as a piece of drinkware? It's cool. When you're in Puerto Rico, I've been told that you gotta get the mofongo. What mofongo is, is a Puerto Rican dish with fried plantains as the main ingredient. The plantains are picked green and fried and then mashed with salt, garlic, broth, and olive oil in a wooden pylon. The goal is to produce a tight ball of mashed plantains that will absorb the attending ingredients. We got skirt steak and chimichurri. It looks incredible. It does. This is what sold us. Especially in this like wooden <laughs> container. Container. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it looks awesome. Mm, that is so good. Back home, we're used to eating at some Argentinian places that put the chimichurri on the steak, so it really reminds me of that. I've never had mashed plantains. It tastes so good. Oh, yeah. Salty. Five out of five years. Get this if you're in Puerto Rico. And maybe come here, try Isis. <laughs> I pulled a Peter. <laughs> this is so garlicky and sweet at the same time. Like I've never had a plantain that's both the sweet plantain mixed with like the garlic and salt. Yeah. So good, dude, so good. We move to Puerto Rico and just eat this every day. <laughs> this is so bomb. I don't know how it's gonna get any better than this. I think we started out perfectly, and I could see why this was rated some of the best mofongo like in all of Puerto Rico, because this is good. I didn't realize how deep this thing was. I know that this is like 25 bucks, so it's filled with meat, and the meat that's like further down, so juicy, so garlicky. Ordinary Adventure Star. <laughs> So it should be mentioned that they do actually check your vaccination cards upon entering the restaurant. And I just gotta say, I love all the servers' outfits here. They're wearing like the suspenders and like the Puerto Rican style like fedora hats. It's just a nice touch. I love the architecture here in Puerto Rico. There's all these beautiful pastel colors on these old buildings. It's just so vibrant and cool. Like, We're from Los Angeles, there's no history. There's nothing like this there. So this is, it's just absolutely beautiful. I don't want to be biased or anything, but I think this is my favorite port that we've stopped at so far. <laughs> For sure, it is awesome here. I love these like small cobblestone streets. It kind of reminds me of Boston. There's like almost room for like one car to go down. So next up we're on the search for Mallorca, which is like a breakfast pastry. And we've struck out twice already. Right now we're at La Bamanera. And it looks like they've been closed since the pandemic started uh, under the executive order of the governor. So I, I don't know, we're, we're having a hard time finding this stuff and it's, it's actually kind of sad because uh, obviously Puerto Rico has not opened up in full effect yet. Like This is a place that's been here since 1902, which is kind of crazy. Wait, did that other place lie to us? <laughs> what the heck? Is this actually the best? Well, this place is closed, so it couldn't even have gone there you anyway. Go in there and be like, congratulations! Ravioli. If you want the thing you love, you did it! Congratulations! No, I'm already gonna go ahead and say that the other place had the best <laughs> one, okay? <laughs> There's actually a park in Old San Juan that is famous for the pigeons. You go there to see the pigeons, and we thought we came across it. But this is just a different park that happens to have like hundreds of pigeons in it. They're so cute and I feel like they get so much crap. They're like rats, like nobody <laughs> likes them and I think they're cute. Well, so I'm happy to see this many pigeons and I can't wait to go to the actual pigeon park. <laughs> as long as I don't get pooped on. I have a feeling this little booth over here might have what we're looking for. I think we finally might have found them. <laughs> At least they say that they're on the menu and there's a plain one up there, so. They don't have any plain ones? <laughs> yeah, they don't have it. I think we've officially given up on the Mallorcas. I think it might be more of a breakfast thing. So it's already 1.30 p.m. A lot of places probably have, are just sold out of them for the day. So it's our own fault. We should have got here earlier. But I think we're gonna move along to the next thing that we wanna try, which is called Limbers. And there should be, you know, fingers crossed, a restaurant just up ahead that serves them there. Found a stray cat 
I was gonna come give it the rest of my water, but it looks like it already has a little water dish and it has Fruit Loops for some reason. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody left a Fruit Loops. Well, at least it has water. I was gonna sacrifice for the greater good, but I think he's good. I love you. Oh, Came over to like live on me. These cats must live at this park because this one has like a whole food dish and stuff. Okay, that makes me happy for these cats. You see that statue? Yeah. <laughs> Butt check on that statue. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it here. This is great. I know we're striking out in the food today, but I just love the architecture here. Like it just feels so beautiful. Yeah, I love just kind of wandering around. Even though it's so hot outside, like I really don't care. Cause like, it's so cool just exploring the city. You know what I mean? Yeah. That being said, I really hope they have the limbers up here cause we're almost there. And supposedly it's like shaved ice almost. So it's gonna be hitting the spot right about now. Ooh. We find it? Yeah, I think so. The question is, oh wow, it's only 75 cents. Yeah, it's really cheap. And there's a bunch of different flavors. I guess I'll just ask them like what they recommend and I'll get that one. I'm excited. Hello? This was so cool. We actually ordered through a window of what seems like a family home. We weren't sure like what to do. We were just like, hola, hello. <laughs> and some old lady came out and she didn't speak a lick of English. We just like, we're just like, give us the two best ones. And she just grabbed two. We tried to Google what they mean. I think this one is the China Fresca, which I think might mean orange. One of them was Parcha, which I think is passion fruit. We're not 100% sure, and that's the fun of it. And you actually don't even eat these with a spoon. They're kind of like, um, what are those called? Like push pops? Push up pops? Like yeah. you just kind of like, they melt, once they melt a little, you just push them up and you go for it. Mmm. Oh my god, I don't know what flavor this is. I still don't know which one is even which because we got them mixed up. Wow, this is so good. Almost tastes like cantaloupe or something. I'm so happy that we just had her choose them for us and we didn't like just pick because I, I probably would have picked like the Pinot one, which yeah, I think is like, I would have yeah. Picked. So, oh my god, you guys, this is only 75 cents. You need to find. This place that sells the limbers, it's right, happens to be right by part of the one of the old forts here. Like we just stumbled across it. How could it like, we couldn't have planned this better. This was by accident and it turned out to be awesome. Five out of five kitchens, this is freaking delicious, dude. So good. Still don't know what flavor it is, but whatever it is, it's amazing. The flavor I got, I think is Parcha, which I think is passion fruit. Yes, it that is. is definitely like a passion fruit. Isn't it so good how this it kind of like melts down so you can like slurp it up and like chew it at the same time? I love that these are like basically homemade in like some woman's freezer. She puts the syrup and the ice, mixes it together. If you see that like right there, it's what you're saying. It's like melting down so it becomes almost yeah, like it's like all the like best part, or, the yeah. syrup. Ordinary Adventure Star, right? Yes. Five Peters, <laughs> Ordinary Adventure Star. And I would say always trust the little old lady. Whatever <laughs> she recommends, or we didn't question it. Pro tip, ask the locals what's the best thing and order that if it doesn't sound completely disgusting. <laughs> and as I eat this down, I've noticed it's not just a syrup. There's like a little piece of fruit in there too. So it's not just like shave ice. I'm really enjoying San Juan, Puerto Rico. I feel like I could really feel the culture and while I like going to like all the other tropical places that we visited on this trip and those are full of culture too just for some reason being here like it feels like I'm in Europe or like you know what I mean like I'm really yeah. learning the history and the culture is all all around there's us. culture all around and I just like love this like it's been so long since I've traveled you know I mean traveling's back and yeah. it's been so long like I feel like, I wish we didn't only have a few hours here is what I basically yeah. mean. Like, I would love to come back here another time and, like, stay here for, like, a whole week. But it's just, it's such a good feeling walking around and just soaking it all in. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I loved St. Thomas. I love St. Martin. There's history there with the pirates and everything there. Like, every, every place has its own thing. But just, like, for some reason being here, it's, like, really meaningful. Here's Kitra. Thank you. 
So we've made it to the famous Umbrella Street. Unfortunately, there are no umbrellas. There's some flags. There's some American flags and Puerto Rico flags. It still looks beautiful, but not as beautiful as if it had umbrellas. Yeah, they're celebrating the Olympics. Oh, is that why? Dang you, Olympics. We want the <laughs> umbrellas. Just kidding. I think we finally found Pigeon Park. It's going to make for some good photo ops, I think. Yeah, if you thought there was a lot of pigeons before. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. This looks crazy. <laughs> I think I need to put on my hat just in case. <laughs> just in case of the, the the pooping that might occur. Guys, wanna buy a full water birdie? Um, I got the big one five, I got the little one three dollars. Yeah. Thank you. When you finish, I also got wipes and sanitizer, you can clean it. Okay, guys, okay. Okay, not hold yet. on, let me, I gotta yet. get it. I gotta get the money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, I know. Let me let me throw some. Can I throw some? Thank you. <laughs> Does it at least look cool? <laughs> yes. Oh no, there's one on my head. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay. Okay, for you, my love. Only for you. Okay. They're like on top of each other. Okay. 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 Get off my head. Ready? In. Oh. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna throw the last of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're all done. All done. Throw one on my head. Yep. No, no, it's on my head. <laughs> There's one on your back. Is there still? It was. Oh. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> they know that I'm out. They're like over me. Yeah, they're they're done with you. They're over there now. <laughs> that was well worth the three dollars, I think. I mean I wasn't doing it. They were all over Kitra, but Oh, did they give a uh, sanitizer? Yes. I'm just like spraying my whole body. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least I didn't get pooped on, right? Am yeah, I good? Yeah, good luck. Yes, good luck. Am I good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was that well worth $3? Yes, that was so cool. Thank you, guys. You got to have no fear, though, because they will... Oh, yeah, can I have one? Yeah, right. Thank you. So you got... You know what's up. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, shoot. That was totally fun. I want to do it again, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier today, Kitra had a mojito, which is what a lot of people here drink. But the actual national drink of Puerto Rico is the pina colada. They actually claim it was invented here, even though in 19th century there was rumors and legends that pirates served it on their ships. One of the two places that claims to have originated the pina colada is this restaurant, Barra China. And, you know, we're here. And even though this probably isn't the first place, it's it's considered one of the places that invented it. We gotta try it. Yes, right? we do. Yeah. Okay, well, let's <laughs> let's do it. For science. For science. <laughs> so, as the story goes, in 1963, the pina colada was created right here. Before the pandemic, they would serve 2,200 pina coladas a day, which is why they have all these machines, which aren't ice. Like there, there's not ice in this version of the pina colada. That those machines are just to keep it uh, chilled and cold. And this pina colada is served with Don Q Gold. I actually don't know what ingredients they put in it. It's not on the menu. And I'm not even sure if it's like the same recipe as it was on day one in 1963. But as you know, I'm a connoisseur of pina coladas. That much is true. Take that to the bank. Here goes me trying the pina colada in the original location. From How excited are you? I am so excited. I was gonna lie and say we made this whole trip to come here, but that's not true. Here it goes. <laughs> that is one of the best pina coladas I've ever had. So fruity. Like, it almost like tastes like it's like a real pineapple. Ooh. Like, it doesn't taste like it's a syrup or a fake you know, whatever. Also, I can't taste the alcohol, so that's dangerous, especially in heat like this. 
I asked the guy, I was like, what kind of alcohol do you use? They, they use Don Q Gold, which Don Q is a Puerto Rican rum. And I was like, do you use Don Q 151? It's like, if, if we gave you that in this heat, you'd be out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But, but they, my, did, they did put a lot of alcohol in it. Like Yeah, he was also like, we don't pour like you guys do in the United States. We pour big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste it. I really don't taste it. That makes it dangerous. Five out of five, Peter. I'm already saying this right now. Ordinary Adventure Star. Yeah, I got one too. Don't worry. I'm excited to try it. He was basically saying it's not made with ice, so you could drink this in any temperature. It'll never be bad. So if it's really hot out or really cold out or whatever, it'll always have the same kind of consistency and it'll always be good. I like that. This is the best pina colada <laughs> I've ever had. How? You're right, it does taste like there's more pineapple in it. Like yeah. more fresh pineapple. So funny, this is like a yellow color and all the ones that you've been getting back on the cruise ship have been like with a white color. Yeah. So you know that they're imposters. You know that's just like a pre mix or something. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Ordinary Adventure Stars all around. I'm so happy that we got to come here today and I know that it's made you happy. Just like I, I got to feed the pigeons, Peter gets to drink his pina colada, what more can you ask for? Cheers. <laughs> the thing is we have a pattern over yeah. what is called the ratio and the product of the drink. Yeah. So everywhere you go, what's the first thing they do? They grab a blender, they put ice, yeah. otherwise we can sue them. We just came across this place, they'll personalize any door with your name or address. That's kind of, that's really cute. That is really cute. Should I get one for Pixel and Kids Mom? So they won't be able to join us on this trip. We don't have like a cool looking door like that though. We don't. Well no, these are the doors around Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. We, our door is not this cool. Look honey, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> that's me and that's you? Yeah. That's how I feel when we eat all the food in Puerto Rico. <laughs> what about this guy right here? Oh Where's... no! That's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> Like the big fort like i think it's only like 500 miles or something from miami yeah it's close man we could take a flight when we because you know we go to florida a lot and then we could spend a few days in puerto rico and then come back oh, i just love it here i'm having such a good day Over there. Who would have thought we'd find Spider Man? <laughs> we saw Spider Man and we saw the guy from Coco. It's almost like this is a tourist destination, just like Hollywood Boulevard. Should we go get our photo? No. No? Okay. So before heading back to the ship, we actually saw that there was a place that sells those Mallorca pastries literally within walking distance of the ship, but they're closed. So once again, I think this might just be like a breakfast place and then they close at a certain time. But for now, you guys know, if you want to try this, it's right by where they dock the ship. You just come right on over and there's a little bakery over here. There's like a photo of it right there without oh, the sugar. It? Yeah, and then they put like a bunch of sugar, yeah. like powdered sugar and stuff on top. I was hoping we could try it. No, that was like the one thing we were both like so looking forward to, but it's okay. When we come back, we'll get it. <laughs> Pro tip, come here first, get your your sweet bread, and then walk around the rest of the town. As we said earlier, we were one of the first cruise ships to port into Puerto Rico since the pandemic. So there's actually like news crews doing some live reporting here, covering Royal Caribbean here in Puerto Rico. All right, we're about to go back on the ship so I could brush my hair, but are you sure you don't want to go to Senior Frogs before we leave? <laughs> I mean, it's still open. For dinner tonight, we were gonna go to Hooked, which is like the seafood restaurant, but <laughs> we, we already found our favorites. Oh, we're all fogged up. Oh no. So we're gonna go back to Jamie's Italian. We've already showed you that in one of the vlogs, so 
click up here to see it. We're gonna go back, but if we get anything different or interesting, we'll we'll let you know. Oh my god, I'm completely gone. <laughs> well, where did she go? Did people... Oh, there she is. <laughs> so I think Cheney's might be our favorite restaurant on the ship. And we came back here, just it's kind of like a comfort food place. Yeah. We came back here and we got for appetizers. I mean, we basically got like the same thing. We got that famous meat plank, which is just incredible. Ultimate garlic bread, which just like melts in your mouth. I'm, I was saying to Kitra, which one's better? Is it this or 150 Central Park for the gar garlic bread? And I actually can't, I don't have an answer. And this time for my appetizer, I decided to try the tomato bruschetta. Bruschetta? Bruschetta, I always say it wrong. It was pretty good. I would say it was nothing special. And they only give you one little piece, which was fine because Peter didn't want any. But it was good and I would, I, that being said, I would get it again. But it wasn't as good as like the appetizers we got the other night. And for my entree, I got Jamie's Caesar salad, which I know seems kind of boring, but it was actually very, very flavorful and it hit the spot. For my entree, I got the tagatelli pasta, which was extremely truffly. I don't think Kitra would have loved it. I liked it, but not as much as I liked my main entree, which was the baked lasagna. And it said like meat sauce, it was totally my jam. I wanted to get this the first time I was here, but I ended up getting some other stuff. And this might might be one of my favorite things here. Speaking of favorite things here, the dessert, we again went with the brownie caramel magic. It's caramel popcorn, caramel ice cream. There's, I don't know, it's just amazing. I think it might be our favorite dessert on the ship. So if you come here, yeah, if you come here, get that. <laughs> Studio B. The very first night of our cruise, we saw the 1977 show, so hopefully this could live up to our expectations, because that show was amazing. other entries put the videos right over there I want to say thank you to some of our patreons that includes kent del baker alara and scott and cynthia santos thank you guys so much thanks for watching guys we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure, adventure.